Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is about the nudge keys. And I've done videos like this before, but never with a keyboard. And I keep having people ask me over and over, and I thought I'm going to do a video. And I just did one last night or day before yesterday with this picture where I nudged this out of the way so I could run this and then nudge that back. Well, the nudge is gone right now because I've got something selected. So deselect everything and there's your nudge factor. It says it right there, nudge distance. Set the nudge distance for nudging objects. And then you use these keys on your keyboard. Not these arrow keys, but these arrow keys. I would think every keyboard would have those. And this is very beneficial for a lot of reasons. And this is one of them right here because I can nudge that right back. I can nudge this text twice, get it out of the way. I can select both these and nudge them out of the way. But then I can nudge this back and it puts it exactly where it was as long as you don't change your nudge distance. So when you measure something, this object is 5.4 inches big. I want it off the screen. If my nudge was only six, it might not get off the screen. See, it's still on the screen. So think about that and you need to have it at eight. But then again, whenever you have a tool selected, that toolbar comes up. Like right now, I got the zoom. Right now, I have the text. My nudge factor is gone. But if I deselect everything, you get your nudge distance. Anyway, I hope that answered a couple of questions and thank you for watching.